We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Dan untuk itu kerajaan memutuskan untuk melaksanakan perintah kawalan pergerakan. These are unusual and uncertain times. So much of our lives have been impacted and disrupted by the pandemic, but the full effects have yet to be seen. In education, the usual rhythm of school life just disappeared overnight. Teachers, parents and students struggled to adapt to the new world of online learning, but came to realise that virtual learning would be their new normal. Before the MCO, we at YTL Foundation were running after-school educational programs in two centres, one for the local community at CLIC in UTC Sentu, and another one for the underprivileged children at 54C in Bukit Bintang. We decided once MCO was imposed that we were not going to stop these classes, but instead move them online. It started with Mandarin class for some of our regular children from the Sentu community, and then added English, Math and Science using the Learn From Home lessons provided by the Foundation's partners, Frog Asia and Teach for Malaysia. Then, we also added Drawing and Speech and Drama classes. When the movement control order was implemented in Malaysia on the 18th of March and schools closed, it was obvious to us at YTL Foundation that we needed to take learning online. At least 37% of students in this country do not have access to data or a device to access online learning. We therefore approached YTL Communications to provide SIM cards with free mobile data to children in government schools, as well as mobile phones and data to students in B40 families. Additionally, we worked with Frog Asia to develop content that would be relevant to the students at this time. Today, we not only have children from the Santo community, but children from as far as Penang and Kedah, including children from the refugee families. With the gift of free phones and data that YTL Foundation provided, we also have 22 children from a village in Sarawak, Kampung Sion, who were able to join our online classes. I look at this as a good thing that has come out of a bad situation. We saw a need and were able to fill in the gaps in the teaching and learning process. The Learn From Home initiative has opened up a whole new world of possibilities to us. We can create lessons in new and fresh ways. Technology has given us the tools to reach these children and connect them to each other so that they can learn not just together but also from each other.